Hey everyone and welcome back to this new video in which I'll be talking about some advanced stuff this time again about the hooking and how to pass variables from one template to another one and before that we jump into that I would like to thank you so much for each and everyone who um, who sent his feedback for the previous videos I think that uh, yeah start getting feedbacks from you guys and I think that this content is being appreciated at least by some people out there so thank you so much and yeah we're still really way away from out comparing to the big dudes on youtube but at least i'm producing some valuable content and just i want to ask you something as you may see here i'm making pretty much nothing from this uh uploading to youtube and it does really take a lot of time so if you feel like you would like that you want to support me there is actually a couple of ways so whether by purchasing one of my courses and it just simply like 10 boxes it's not a big deal and you will be enjoying all this content and the other the other way actually is to to patreon me yeah still i don't have any patreon yet but um, why not just to uh, yeah start this experience so let's get into the topic of this video so this is like a basic design or basic description of what we are going to do today so here we'll be having like uh, the main template or the main uh, yeah to be a file page call it whatever you want and here we'll be having the call to our module so in this case we'll be using actually the hook but we will be using the widget api the new and recent stuff from prepostation 1.7 and we'll be passing um, a variable an id a name a string whatever it is to uh, the module tpl file and we'll be displaying it there so let me tell you our example here so here we have Okay, let me just refresh the page because I prepared some stuff before I start recording. So this is the product page. And let's suppose for certain reason, I would like to display the contact form on this page, all right? So uh, to be honest, we won't get so deep in that. We won't be like setting up the, the clicks and actions on the contact form. We will be simply experiencing how to pass, let's say the product ID to the contact form, okay? So we'll be displaying the contact form somewhere here on this page and we'll be passing, as I said, the ID of the product and its name. Let's say that we'll be passing a couple of parameters and I will, lead, I will show you, sorry, how to display these attribute into the TPL file, into the contact form TPL and the bonus that we'll be getting into some advanced files, uh, the hook.php and I'll show you what's going on a bit. Um, what's going on there with that file and some functions about the widget API. So straight to the VS Code, let's start by getting into the product.tpl page where we'll be calling our widget. So if you don't know how to call a widget API, you can simply do this. So widget API PrestaShop and you will get an answer so the very first page is always the good one and scroll a bit down and this is the old way that would how we do it and this is the new way so let me copy that and whatever you want in your tpl where does it fit you you could throw that code so let's let me paste this code here and for sure we won't keep this uh, name we'll be replacing it with the valid module name so if you don't know what is the module name you simply need to go to your uh your module main file For my, in my case it's contact form.php oops i messed up that contact form.php and scroll somewhere where we have the definition of some parameters like the name the version etc and simply copy that and get back to your name here and let's test that everything is fine so here if i do refresh i do see my form being displayed yeah let's say it's correct and everything is where it should be okay as i said the redirection and the stuff about this form won't, won't be set for this video the purpose is simply to pass a parameter or variable a cost or call to whatever you want from this page product page to inside this module okay so uh with that done here 
let's see how I can get the product ID. So simply because I'm trying to to mimic the unknown dude who will be trying to uh, answer his boss request about editing a text or doing something. So I'll be simply typing ID here and I try to see uh, trying to find any hint that could be the answer to my uh, to my to my request. So do product dot uh, do ID and there you go. So we have what we are looking for product dot ID and let me get back to my widget and simply to pass a parameter using the widget API you need simply simply to call it for example product ID like that and equal to this that it that's that's it don't forget to add the double quotes here to avoid any trouble later okay so that it for the TPL file for the let's say the main TPL file product in this case now we need to move back to our component we've got that component module I'm kind of influenced by react these days so here we'll be searching for where the widget api is being implemented because here if we look into the signature of this class it does extend the module and it does implement a widget interface so let's jump into this widget interface so we have a two method render widget and a get widget variable so we'll be finding somewhere here this get widget api define it so this is it this is the implementation of this method and scrolling a bit down here so let me just talk a bit about these function that are basically complementary okay so the render widget that do call the get widget variables that is basically returning a list of variables that will be injected into our template so if you look at this line 281 so we are calling the smarty from the context the method assign and we are passing a call to our method get widget variable that basically will return an array of uh, variables so let me get to this method get widget we have notification false don't really bother yourself because it's like a specific um treatment for this module but at the end what is important for me is this little array that basically will be the same response in all the module that are extending or that implementing actually the widget api there will be always an array returned at the end of this get widget variables so here i will do the following here so let me do product id like that and i will simply do double quote product id the way i did write that here inside my product.tpl so do that a comma and everything is set now the next thing to do is to update the contact form.tpl so again i will do contact form.tpl and here you must pay attention because sometimes your module template will be overridden inside override override well, still struggling with this couple of words as i said otherwise so it will be it will be actually um overrided is that correct to say inside your theme directory like this so it's inside oh, under the theme a uh, classic modules contact form so this is actually the one that you need to edit not the original one that is basically inside the modules so here click on this one and whatever you want to display your variables for example here let me do in h2 here and i will do the simple syntax to display a variable in smarty and i will do basically okay this and paste that so get back to our page and do control refresh and we screwed up things okay so unknown tag something is wrong because the dollar sign must be inside i think i'm get uh i got lost between gsp and uh, smarty here so refreshing the page and we should say where is it so product id okay so something went wrong here because we should get the product id not the product id as a string right so what's going on wrong with our code here so let me get back to product.tpl here 
and this is the widget so actually we need to um something's wrong so i would like to display this for now just to make sure that uh, i'm pointing to the correct variable so it's one which is correct so we have one here uh sorry this one actually which is the id of the product so no wrong no mistakes there and we have a product id here being displayed correctly so everything should be fine now if i move back to conform or contact form here i'd like to do this yeah so let's change this to a single quote okay now if i do refresh what will happen now something is really broken here so guys okay just found the solution to uh, to my problem we have another problem here so what i did here i simply renamed my variable inside the tpl file inside contact form.tpl to product id and added one or any extra uh, character so he cannot find this product id one okay but look what i've found here so scrolling a bit down to this a little specific line here where he does say that contact form render widget null array something is broken but what picked my attention is this little array the second parameter that is being injected to our render widget so if i go back to my controller or to my module file and go to render widget which is this method here we have hook name which is basically null by default and we have an array called configuration and by default it's empty so this array is basically what we are seeing here we have a product id with a two which is the correct product id the current one that we are on this page now and we have another test var that i was debugging with it okay so now what i need to do is go back to my get widget variables here scroll all the way down here where i do have the return statement and instead of calling stupidly product id like that and it, let's waiting for prestashop to magically figure out what i mean by product id i need to do the following control x or command x and configuration because configuration is being passed to our method here as a parameter and i will do this so product id and don't forget that i need to update this to the correct name and this should solve the problem so reloading the page and i have my product ib id sorry being displayed right there correctly so that was the main idea about how to pass a variable a parameter from a template to another one and do whatever you want with it so the bonus of this episode is a jump into this amazing hook.php that is basically under the classes directory and i would like to um to show you what what we, what's happening actually here just a quick look so to have a clear idea let's um flow the trace starting from our module so clicking the widget api here that is basically as i said having that it does have uh, two methods that one of them is the render widget and if i look to render widget here inside our hook.php we have this little line that is basically inside a method called exec so exec is basically execute and it's the responsible number one of generating all the hooked modules of our template so it's really big 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 method here and looking to the signature of this method we do understand a lot of things here so the very first thing is the hook name so hook name display footer display header display top nav and the, all that weird names that prestigious developers came with we have the hook args which are basically the parameter that we are passing to our hook and we have the id of the module array of return a check exception use push we don't really care about these three or four but what is important for us is these um three first parameters so let me just show, show you some fun here i would like to echo the 
hook name and you guess it would be having a lot of names all over the place displaying that this is a hook x this is a hook y y sorry and yeah so we have display photo here uh display reassurance so this is really useful for debugging especially for dude who don't know where to edit and what is this module and where it's hooked etc so this may be a good feature for you guys and this may be a good idea for another videos that you can override this uh, hook.php and echo this for debugging debugging i said don't go prod with this else why you'll be fired from the day number one and let me just show you another cool feature if i do return nil here guess what will happen our website will have no module at all so all what i see here is basically uh, basically the the product page dot tpl nothing else no module header or footer or icons or whatever nothing no module is being cooked except this that we did call it using the widget api all right so uh okay i think i will stop the video here because the purpose was to show you how to pass these variables from template one to template two if you like this video as always please leave a couple of words and the thumb up is so 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 much useful guys for the algorithm that this video kept alive and this channel stay alive so again thank you for watching if you have any suggestions you can use the comment box below to say your suggestions and see you in another video and peace